Good morning, boys and girls. Um, Carmen Lee back here in my South Berwick living room. Reading to you from Karen Reads. I have three books today. They're all short. I think you'll love them. Uh, the first is my favorite, and I'm so glad I found it in our stacks of books because it was my children's absolute favorite, the one that they requested so many nights. They would say, Charlie Parker, Charlie Parker. Um, the name of the book is, let me see. It's not on the cover. The name is Charlie Parker Played Bebop. Let me tell you about that. Uh, the book is done by Chris Raska, R-A-S-C-H-K-A. You can look him up on the web. He's very interesting. He's done over 30 books for children. He says that every day he tries to fill himself up with good music, good art, and good books so that he can produce good work for kids. Go on his website, there's some videos about him doing his art and talking about it, how he tries not to be too careful with his paintbrush. He tr tries to stay relaxed and let the work flow. I think you will find it very interesting. On one of the videos, there's actually some art students uh, taking a tour of his studio in New York City. And we'll read another one of his books once the library opens up again, um, called Yo Yes. He specializes in books without too many words, mostly pictures. And you'll find that in this book. Okay. Oh, um, Bebop is a form of jazz that Charlie Parker and his friend Dizzy Gillespie invented. And it's very fast. And it includes uh, soloists like Charlie Parker played saxophone. And he would do a long saxophone solo in the bebop song. So they were known for their virtuosity, which means their special talent as jazz solo musicians. All right, Charlie Parker played Bebop by Chris Raska. Charlie Parker played Bebop. Charlie Parker played saxophone. The music sounded like bebop. You can see the music curling out of his saxophone. I guess that's how Chris Raskus hears bebop, his music curling around. Never leave your cat alone. Well, that's a curious thing to say. Bop, Fisk, Fisk. Lolly, Pop, Boom, Ba, Boom, Ba. Bus stop, 
Zzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzz
Now, if I were him, I'd watch carefully because it looks like he's about to slip on a banana peel. And he's about to discover who's doing all that eating. A crash, a bang, a shout, I yell. I slipped on something, then I fell. I landed on a pile of pigs, some eating dates, some eating figs, in the cupboards, on the floor. <coughs> Excuse me. Pigs are plenty. Pigs galore. Black pigs, white pigs, brown and pink, making oatmeal in the sink. Pigs in tutus, pigs in kilts, pigs on skateboards, pigs on stilts. Pigs from England, pigs from France, Pigs in just their underpants. The king of pigs, the piggy queen, the biggest pigs I've ever seen. Pigs arrive by boat, by plane. A bus pulls up and then a train. And you can see the pigs skydiving out of the plane. Up in the top of the picture. A band strikes up. A piggy sings, then at ten the doorbell rings. Someone yells, the pizza's here, and all the pigs begin to cheer. Looks like, if you look out the window, it looks like there's a, a delivery man bouncing about 50 to 100 pizzas. They have some appetite. Flying pizzas fill the air. One goes splat against my chair. The piggy piggies eat their fill. I get nothing, just the bill. I've had enough, I scream and shout. Get out, you pigs. You pigs, get out. Please let us stay, the piggies cry. Don't make us go. Don't say goodbye. You can stay, I tell them all but sweep the floor and scrub the wall. I give them brooms, a pail, a mop. Now sweep and scrub till I say stop.
The piggies work, and when they're done, upstairs they stagger, one by one. They brush their teeth and comb their tails, then wash their snouts and clean their nails. The pigs and I climb into bed. I plump the pillows, plop my head. I close my eyes and try to sleep. Before too long, I'm dreaming deep. And he's dreaming of pigs, as you can see. Of pigs and pigs and pigs some more, of pigs a plenty, pigs galore. They're giving him a ride on a blanket in his dreams. Okay, Pigs a Plenty, Pigs Galore by David McPhail. And finally, our third and final book of today. It's written by Charlotte Zolato. She's done over 70 picture books for children. She's also a poet, and she edits other people's work, which means she helps them to make it better, to make it the best possible book they can make. And she helps get their books published. So taken from... Uh, what they submit to her and then actually making it into a book that gets put in the stores for you to buy. Stefano Vitali is the illustrator. He's done a few dozen children's books. Excuse me. Coffee day today. in New York State on Long Island, just off New York City, with his wife and two kids. All right. And you might want to replay this book tonight again before you go to bed, because it might make you sleepy. It's called Sleepy Book by Charlotte Zolato, pictures by Stefano Vitale. Bears sleep in their dark caves the long winter through. Pigeons sleep in a row, pressing against each other for warmth. Fish sleep among the green water ferns with their owls, with their, excuse me, their eyes and mouths wide open. Moths sleep with wings folded together. They look like little white leaves on walls and windows and screens. Horses sleep standing up in fields and stalls their tails switching away to keep the flies away.
seal sleep with their flippers flat against blocks of ice. Maybe you can see the Eskimo up in the corner. He's out kayaking at night. The snowy crane sleeps standing on one long leg like a flower on its stem. What a beautiful illustration. I used to have a pet bird and that's how he slept too. He would cling on his perch with one leg and curl the other leg up under his wing. Crickets sleep in the long meadow grass and look like the grass itself. They are so still. Turtles sleep inside their shells, and no one would know a turtle was there. The spiders, when they sleep, are like small ink spots in the middle of their lacy webs. Kittens sleep in the warmest place they can find, curled up in a basket or stretched out purring in the sun. Dogs sleep under beds or in boxes or on rugs near someone they love. Looks like he's sleeping next to a child's bed because you can see all their stuffed animals. But little boys and little girls, when the night comes and the wind whispers gently in the trees and the stars sparkle and shine, sleep warm under their blankets in their beds. You can see the little boy on the cover sleeping on top of a book on a cloud in his dreams. Okay, that's all I have for you. I hope you enjoyed these three books today. And the library is opening soon. You'll be able to get some books yourself. But I will continue reading to you. And I will get some books from the library myself. So I'll have more to share with you. And that's all very exciting. Okay, get outside. It's beautiful these days. All right, take care. Bye-bye. I'll see you next time.